Sonic Birth is a free application which allows you to create or edit audio units found in many audio and MIDI applications, such as Logic, GarageBand, Peak, Audacity, and more. Some examples of these units are reverbs, equalizers, phasers, flangers, compressors, and limiters. For a complete download of Sonic Birth and more information, go to http colon forward slash forward slash sonicbirth.sourceforge.net. Let's start Sonic Birth. Let's organize the windows. Click on the background of the untitled window. Let's name this Simple Reverb. Let's enter two inputs and two outputs. The circuit size should be a minimum of 400 by 400. Click on the background of the untitled window. Go up to File, Save As, and enter Simple Reverb. Then click on Save. Move the bit precision object toward the left bottom of the window. Go up and click on the Insert Element drop down menu, then click on Miscellaneous, then Freeverb. Drag the Freeverb object to the center of the window. Go back up to Insert Element drop-down menu and click on Common, then Slider. We want a total of five sliders. Let's put a switch into the circuit. Go to Insert Element, Common, Boolean. We are now going to label the sliders and the switch. Click on the first slider, then go to the Settings window, then type in Room Size. Press the Tab key. Click on the next slider and we are going to call this Damp. Press the Tab key. Next slider. Wet. Next slider. Dry. Next slider, Width. Click on the Boolean object, which is an on-off switch, and we are going to call this Freeze. Now we're going to connect the different modules with wires. Connect channel 0 of the circuit input to the input 1 of the free verb by dragging a line between them. Repeat this procedure with channel 1 of the circuit input to the input 2 of the free verb. Connect the output 1 of the free verb to the channel 0 of the circuit output. Repeat this procedure with the output 2 from the free verb to the channel 1 of the circuit output. 
Connect the output of the room size slider to the room size input of the free verb. Connect the output of the damp slider to the damp input of the free verb. Connect the output of the wet slider to the wet input of the free verb. Finish the last two slider connections and connect the freeze switch. The circuit is now complete. Go over to the sound server window. Click on the open button and select a sound file. Before we start the sound file we have chosen, let's go over to the circuit window and increase the dry slider value so we may hear the untouched sound. We do this by clicking and dragging the mouse over the desired slider in a vertical movement. Now let's go over to the sound server and click on the start button to hear the sound. We can now adjust the sliders and switch to see the effects of the circuit. Click on the stop button on the sound server. Go up to the menu bar and click on file, then click on save. Go back to the file menu, then click on install as AU. I have previously installed this circuit on my system, so ignore this dialog box. This completes this tutorial. My next tutorial on Sonic Birth will show you how to change the user interface. You may contact me at gsdlinux at mac.com or go to my website at tropevision.com.